Coming up in this video from France, we're trying to get back to the States, but that means saying goodbye to our trusted friend, taking a train to Paris, hanging out in Paris for a couple days, and catching a flight to LAX. Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our puppy Lucia. In the fall of 2021, we shipped our 4x4 camper van Denny across the Atlantic in search of new experiences and a life less ordinary. Welcome to our journey. Well, good morning from somewhere in the Normandy region of France. Hope you're having a great day. We're starting ours by heading to the place where we are going to store Denny for the winter. Found a uh, covered uh, indoor storage facility and it's about 80 miles outside of Paris. Uh, this past week was all logistics. Uh, it's been crazy between booking plane tickets, taking a ferry, going through a tunnel, finding a storage place. Uh, how are we going to get from the storage place to uh, Paris? Are we going to just like go straight to the airport? No, that's a lot to do and we're going to stay a handful of days in Paris. It has been so, so overwhelming and consuming. But now it's starting to come together. Like today is the moment of truth. We're heading to the storage place and do the final touches and start a whole new adventure. The star of the show demanded that we plug her YouTube channel and social media. And since we're doing shameless plugs, did you know we have another channel? Check it out for life's most memorable moments. We had forgotten how welcoming France is to the camping car community. Uh, we've had a couple of nice days at Airs since we arrived in France, but in particular this last one we stayed at for a few nights in this absolutely sweet little village. It was the most picturesque, beautiful place. <laughs> they had a water wheel and a lake, and this, uh, not a lake, a river, and this beautiful church and cute little street. We went and had coffee one morning and got stuff at the boulangerie. And we did laundry there. It was just fabulous. And the camping air was so pretty in this little park. Uh, so it was the perfect place to stay for our last few nights in Denny before we head home, it just left us with this sweet taste in, of life here and uh, anxious to return and enjoy it again after the winter. It's so pretty here. That's me, Mom. Well, it was meant to scare the cat of you. That's yeah, what it was meant to do. <laughs> Woo! No last minute tope is needed on this uh, no, please. little so the end of October and we are seeing regulation of fuel sources here. 30 euro max on what they're calling essence, which I think must be one of their types of petrol and diesel. They had us move over to the big truck tank and here we had a 50 liter max. So we were able to fill the tanks up and make sure we leave them full for the winter so they don't condensate inside. So the owner is going to meet us here in a few minutes, but this is Denny's new home for the winter. We really didn't want to leave him outside because I've been, just going to be honest with you, I've been battling some water leak issues on this, uh, how, many old, how old is the habitat now? Not for us. A ten years old. It's a ten-year-old habitat, and there's starting to be some leaks. And I just know I would not be able to rest, knowing he was potentially getting exposed to water damage. 
So this place we found off of a website, kind of like an Airbnb of sorts, but Mon Hanger, like uh, what does Mon mean? My. My Hanger is what it translates to. And it's people that have a wide range of storage facilities. But this one uh, is indoors. It's not heated or anything, but this part of the uh, world or France doesn't seem to get like Alaska grade cold by any means. So it should be just fine, but we're paying how much a month? 52 euro. 52 euro. We are having to maintain the insurance on our vehicle while it's here, part of their whole policy. How much is our monthly insurance? 97 euro. All right, so that's what it's costing for us to uh, store Denny here. I guess it is what it is. But uh, we'll save 50 yeah. euro a month on laundry. We yeah, figured out. <laughs> exactly. We figured that we we're spending 50 euro a month using these payable laundry machines. And it really does add up living here. It's amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it is not cheap. And I guess that's why you're here uh, is to do things and see new places. And you got to pay the price for it. All right. We pulled it off. We hope we have everything out of the truck. Uh, I still can't find my earbuds, so I don't know if they got lost or if they're in Denny, but they're not coming with us. Everything else, I think we've done it. And in he goes. This is where Denny will winter for the next six months or so. And the people here are wonderful. I speak a little French, they speak a little English, we do okay. But it's really nice here and I think this is a good spot. See you later, my friend. <laughs> wow, that's a big life moment for us, honey. Like, it was big coming over here. And now, you know, we've parked the truck for a while, but it's always been in our driveway. Oh, gosh, I hope we did everything right. We didn't want to be like those YouTubers who come back to their van and there's dirty dishes in the sink, so... I think we did it there's right. No trash, the toilet's empty. Yeah. And there's no dirty dishes and no food anywhere. I also made a tremendous list for our loved ones who have to uh, deal with Denny in case of a horrible catch, catch event for Rebecca and I between now and when we Come return. Back. So they know how to operate Denny, where he is, and we're ready to go to the train. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Lucy, the computer and camera bag, suitcases, and a food bag to go to our hotel in Paris. Well, that was uh, a couple steps completed, uh, dropping Denny in storage and getting a ride to the train station. Hope these just uh, kind of fall like dominoes over the next couple weeks until we get to the casita in Mexico. So many things, but we're here. We're here. Couple things done. Thank you, William. Woo. Oh. <laughs> You know, a little deja vu. We got separated on a train once before. You need to go to buy our ticket from the station. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this one be way worse. Okay, let's find our seat. been completed. We made it onto the train, didn't leave any bags there, and we even found our right seats. 
Luckily, we had some help from William, or I don't know if we'd have made the train. Yeah. <laughs> he stopped the doors from closing. <laughs> it's so nice. He was. We need all the help we can get with these damn bags. <laughs> it's too much for a train. I don't know how we got so much stuff. It just needs to go back. Well, it's but six it's, months and everything for yeah. all of us. And it's been Rebecca and Lucy's stuff. Plus, we're taking food for the hotel. Yeah. Right? And... And it's not practical to normally take a train when you're doing this kind of trip, but it literally was the only option from here that wasn't like $300 yeah. to go get a car rental one day. Yeah, or renting a car in Paris, which would have meant a, a trip yeah. to Paris, Still a trip back out here. Yeah. <laughs> so this I just this finally was the succumbed way. to the fact that it was going to have to be a train and that we wouldn't be traveling ideally for a train. Well, I, uh, this whole journey is going to be planes, trains, and automobiles. Thank you, William. Okay, we made it off the train. Next step, make it to a hotel. Okay, making it into an Uber. It's intense city driving here. <laughs> Woo. Did you want to bring the truck here now? Uh, no. <laughs> and also, I would be scared just to ride a bicycle. Oh, me. <laughs> Woo. As I was saying, I'd be scared just to ride a bicycle or motorcycle in this. We always like to thank our Outliers community for supporting production of these videos. You guys are the best. Click join on our YouTube channel for early releases, exclusive content, increased engagement, and so much more. like it so the lobby is over there okay we made it this is our hotel it's called the originals and it's like a residence so the units have a little bit little kitchen well this is our hotel room la cuisine Ici, a, a bed, yeah. maybe, <laughs> a, the salle de bain, oh, that's nice. no bain, no, no, uh, no bain, it's just a shower. Okay, what is a douche, douche. again? It's like a shower. Douche is a shower, douche. so we can douche, we can but douche. we can't bathe. We. Okay, so and... Oh, there's a big one. And let's see here. There is our view. Oh, we got a window. Fresh air. I got this room for a pretty killer deal for Paris. We are on the other side of the Seine. We're not in, you know, the circle. But we're only about 20 minutes from the circle. And it was 488 for six nights euro um and that and then 10 euro a night for the dog um killer deal for paris but it's a brand new hotel so there's your secret i spent like 10 days looking for this place okay we need to kind of unpack put our refrigerated stuff away go to the bathroom and get some food not necessarily in that order check in with you later The number seven.
it's a long train. Hey, do you want to uh, have vegan for our first meal out here in Paris? Paris? No. I, it just doesn't seem right. It seems sacrilege. Because like really. butter and bacon and all those <laughs> and type eggs. of ingredients are like staples in this culture's food. Yes. Well, that salad was good, but we didn't necessarily come here for salad. Gibo was really, really good. We came here for fondue, and it has been probably 15, 16 years, honey, since we've had fondue. 2007. Yep. Mm. Not bad at all. Gucci. We thought we'd mix it up a little bit and change locations for dessert. So we're right across the street from Notre Dame and we are having a, an array of sweets for dessert. Well, and I love ice cream, so I couldn't pass up a milkshake, which tends to be a little different than the milkshakes we're used to in the States. Yes, it is more like the richest one most wonderful chocolate milk ever. Hello, we are back in Ivry sur Seine now, uh, close to our hotel, and we're going to have some dinner with a friend. And now here, he just happened to be flying into Paris when we were here for the weekend to visit before we go home. Yeah. Just transiting by ch pure chance. Pure chance. Yeah. <laughs> we were sitting in the Latin Quarter having lunch and he it showed up that he was flying into Paris and Vin said, come have dinner with us. And he wrote back and said, are you serious? And we said, have I ever lied to you? <laughs> and, and I have never lied to you, Matthew. Ben never lies. A, a, a ben Not about serious never lies. things like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's so good to see these guys again. And uh, yeah. Well, let's give Matthew a shout, a shout out. out for your channel. So, yeah, if you're interested in uh, flying on the cheap and uh, maybe flying in business class for less than the economy, then check out my channel, which is MattNav, M A T T N A V. But it is great running into you all the time. And uh, I just think it's so awesome that we now know enough people over here that <laughs> somebody can just be randomly flying through a city and we are getting together for Moroccan food for dinner. Yeah. And, and, uh, I don't think we're at the Moroccan yeah. restaurant. Oh, we're not at the Moroccan restaurant. Oh, we changed. Lovely, okay. Just the hey. having, having, you just You just ordered pasta. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, my day's about to get long because after this, I'm hopping on a 12 hour sleeper train to get home. Mm -hmm. Because the, the perils of not having non stop flights from the UK to where I live in the South of France. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping in to see us. Thank you. Well, you guys need to come down to the refrigerator and stop, not, we, not just pass through. We will when we come back for yeah. sure because we'll spend some time yeah. in France. Yeah, Matthew also works at a uh, campground, is what really? we call them There's as Americans. <laughs> and it is literally a resort. Some of the web or campsites have jacuzzis, their own private jacuzzi too. It, it's basically for you guys out in the Overland community, <laughs> it's your form of a five star hotel, you could say. Uh, but yeah, five star campsite. Exactly. It's a pitch. Yeah. It's a diacolin <laughs> pitch. With, with, a, with a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, always good running into you, buddy. Ciao. Okay.
Wow. There might be a chance of us getting a whole row. Well, we did it. We have made it onto the airplane. Another step completed. And I also have to say that our strategy of booking an aisle seat and a window seat and leaving the middle one vacant, it worked again. Well, it Super didn't, duper shiny. But there was a row next to us. Yeah. Too, so she took it instead. Exactly. Who'd rather have it? A whole row to themselves over there. Uh, well, it's been a good year. It has been. We survived. Yeah, and we will come back again. Uh, it was great getting to uh, say hi and meet all the people and reunite with friends. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey. Now time to start another chapter before coming back and resuming this chapter. <laughs> An interlude, I think they might call it. Some would say. <laughs> Let's do this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sajan, and I have the pleasure of being your cabin crew leader today. Our captain, Mr. Nicolas Dixier, as well as the entire crew, are very pleased to welcome you on board French B's Airbus A315-900. We have made it uh, picked up a rental car so we can drive up to the central coast to visit Beck's mom first uh, Lucy did great she actually had to hold it for probably 12 to 13 hours for that non-stop flight by the time you kind of board the plane go through customs and all that hoo-ha uh, the flight not bad it was actually I was a little nervous about French B because it's kind of a budget airline but I thought it was a fantastic experience. Yeah, plenty of leg room. The food was good. It was. Uh, we kind of had a whole row to ourselves. So that is a wrap for this video. We are very, very tired and it's dark, so I can't really show you too much of the ride up the coast, but we'll see you in the next one. What? No. What the f- oh, God. Huh.